Hello everyone and welcome back to Moon Moth Goddess Tarot. My name is Monique. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. For those of you that are new, I do have a second tarot channel, uh, Neptune's Child Tarot, where I do have additional content uh, posted, which is more for self-focused readings, career and finance, uh, healing, ancestor messages, past life, um, anything else that is non-love related and focused on the self. So you guys might want to check out that channel as well, Neptune's Child Tarot. So today's pick a card reading we are doing uh, for the connection between you and your person and we're asking spirit, how do they see you and the connection? So we do have three piles for you guys to choose from today. Pile number one, yours is going to be this Labradorite crystal for pile number one with the Labradorite. How do they see you and the connection? Pile number two, you are going to be this smoky citrine. And that is for pile two. And then pile number three is going to be this Jasper heart. For pile number three. So pause the video if you need a little bit more time to meditate on the crystals or on which pile you feel is calling to you the most. The timestamps will be down below for you guys and I will see you at your reading. Hi Pile 1, so those of you that resonated with the Labradorite Crystal, this is going to be your reading today. And we are finding out how do they see you and the connection. So let's start off with your tarot. And then we will see your oracle cards. So we have the Queen of Water, which is the Queen of Cups. We have Move, which is the Chariot. We have the Hermit. We have Rebuild, which is card number 16, the Tower. We have Justice. We have Balance, which is the Temperance card. Let's put that over here. And then we also have Take the Lead, which is the Three of Wands. Okay, so I am seeing we do have some strong um, Virgo, Libra, Sagittarius, Cancer energy. Um, we also have Aries and Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So how do they see you in the connection? What I am kind of noticing here in this temperance card first off is that first off, the temperance card is about balance. It's about harmony. And I'm noticing how there is this man and woman's face that is almost kind of like merging together. And there is this beautiful little light that's kind of connecting the two of them. So it makes me feel like this person sees the connection between the two of you as something that does bring balance uh, to them. Or they may kind of see you as a person who they feel that there is that balance between or they're... they're um, maybe even see you as a part of them because I'm looking, like I said, how the two of them, they're merging together. So they may even kind of see you as their other half, literally, um, where they feel that there is this beautiful energy kind of exchanged between the two of you. Um, I don't know, maybe for some of you, this could be some type of uh, strong soul bond or connection between the two of you where this person has a lot of the same, I feel like, maybe desires as you do. They're, I'm definitely feeling like there is this merging of this energy between the two of you and the way that they see this connection that does bring healing as well with temperance and balance. 
I feel like it's something that definitely makes them feel that there is a very nurturing energy that's here because I'm also noticing in this tower energy how even right around her heart there is this light and she's kind of got both of her hands over it she almost looks like she's doing uh, Reiki um, which looks like healing okay um, now with the tower energy here you know some of you could have had some type of breakup between the two of you not it won't resonate for all of you but some of you the per you and the person could have had a breakup separation and if that is the case with the hermit energy this person could have been spending like a lot of time alone you know time thinking and i'm noticing that in this chariot card there are two hands that are coming together surrounding this heart and it makes me feel like this person, again, there's this tie or this bond between the two of you and wanting to move the connection forward, I feel like, because the chariot is about progress and about really balancing out your own energy so that you're able to kind of move forward um, in a way. And I feel like in this case, for those of you that are separated from this person, it would be moving forward I feel like to reconcile uh, the connection because with justice, justice is about us making the right decision, you know, for our highest good. And those of you where there may have been a breakdown of the relationship, the person could be wanting to kind of make things right, you know, have enough willpower to kind of move the connection forward. I do feel like this has been a lot of time that they've been taking some time to reflect and think about things, their heart, their feelings. Um, and if you are, you know, separated from them, the three of wands would say that there is this longing that this person has. Some of you, it may even be a long distance uh, connection where you're the two of you are separated by physical distance. And this person may be kind of in a place where they're waiting to hear from you or you may even be waiting to hear from them. With the Queen of Cups energy here, I feel like this person sees you as someone who is incredibly nurturing. And you may give off a very sensitive, loving, compassionate, healing energy here. Um, and, you know, show this person a lot of your heart and your feelings that you have towards them that are helping this person maybe even to kind of rebuild themselves in a sense. Those of you that are, you know, dating this person or, you know, actively, maybe even in a relationship with them, I'm feeling it's like they see you and the connection as something that has been very restorative, uh, very healing, okay? Maybe even helping them to kind of transmute energies that were lower vibrational or ones that weren't really serving to help the connection move forward. I feel like there's a lot of things that are being illuminated in this connection between the two of you um, and the person is kind of acknowledging that, seeing that, Um Let's see what else am I seeing here. But yeah, I, I feel like regardless of what the circumstances are between you and this person, that they see you as someone who is... I'm feeling very compassionate and, you know, taking what they say into consideration. I feel like for many of you, you are someone who is some type of support system for this person. Like, they, it makes them feel, I feel like, safe. There's a lot that is being broken down for this person, I feel like, in terms of their own beliefs and things that may not have been serving. And maybe it is, I kind of feel like, a connection that's almost like serving as a catalyst for them to kind of take a look with inside of the self about what blockages are there, what wounds are there, but more or less that you're kind of creating an energy surrounding the connection that is conducive to them working on themselves going inwards doing a lot of like i said introspection reflection and looking at what needs healing is kind of what i'm i'm getting from this almost like it's helping them to kind of bring themselves into a place of uh balance okay so let's see what else let's actually do these two Okay, so we have discipline here, and it says, I can accomplish what I set my mind to. And then we also have love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. 
So definitely feelings of love here, okay? We have the Queen of Cups. Like I said, even looking at that chariot energy, how both of their hands are kind of coming together, supportive of the heart. There's that beautiful yellow light um, that's circulating around it, which kind of gives me this vibe that this person, your energy is something that makes them feel like they can be more open to sharing, expressing their feelings, kind of like they feel that you are this supportive energy that makes them feel safe in that they can open up and express their feelings, like feeling more confident um, in being able to express that. You know, like you can be safe, you can be vulnerable, you can open up um, in a way is kind of what I'm getting here. And then we have the dis discipline here. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So it makes me feel like if this person is doing any of that inner work, that even if you look at her like this Queen of Cups, she looks like she's maybe like a therapist or something, maybe even a counselor, how she's kind of sitting here on her little chair and she's, you know, got her little... Uh, folder open writing or taking notes and the queen of cups you know archetype could be someone who does work in a healthcare related field um which kind of reminds me maybe she looks like a little like a counselor or a therapist you know so maybe it is something about your energy that is really opening up to them making them feel safe like i said with their to be able to kind of release things you know talk about the things that are uh, making them feel hurt from past experiences. And I feel like, like I said, it kind of gives them this vibe that they can be safe opening up, that they can really kind of put a lot of effort and work into themselves about releasing any things that are not in alignment with, you know, supporting the connection, you know, that you make them feel like I can do this. I can work on this. I can work on myself. Um, <clears throat> is kind of what I'm getting here. Okay, so we also have Lapis Lazuli. And it says, a life-changing epiphany or experience. It says, it's a time of big and blessed change for you. And God is supporting you each step of the way. Okay, so life-changing epiphany or experience. To me, you know, that could have been some type of awakening even that you've had, they've had. Um, making it so that this connection has been something that has really kind of, I feel like, shaken them to their core in a sense that they're acknowledging, you know, what needs healing um, and, and paying closer attention to that to really focus on healing themselves and release, like I said, any those parts of self that are not in alignment with supportive of this of this energy here. Okay, so we also have the Magician and the Mirror. We have Distraction. And I feel like I want to see what that is. But this is the number 15. Which is the Devil Energy. So maybe that could be what kind of is letting being let go here. Released. Because this tower energy really shakes us up, right? It really kind of gives us like a wake up call about things that we need to let go of. And this almost looks with this lapis lazuli. This looks like the ace of swords to me. This sword that is coming down into the stone with all of this light that's coming out here. So maybe this has been, you know, a very significant connection um, for this person. We also have magic prayer, magic prayer. Okay, so we also have mercury, mercury. We have patience, and then we also have the multiverse here. Okay, multiverse. Hmm, this makes me feel Mm. Many of you, I feel like, because I'm noticing even in this justice card here, how her, her, mm, I want to say kind of between the crown chakra and the third eye, there's some kind of light that's emanating out of there. Um, so it makes me feel even with this multiverse energy here that this person feels 
that there is for some of you I'm getting it's a very spiritual connection that you might feel to this person or that they feel to you and not just I feel like within the 3d realm but more or less that they feel connected to you in many different ways even if like I said even if the, the two of you are separated at this time This magic prayer kind of looks like all of this beautiful light is coming around her. Almost like I said, the tower energy looks like it's dissolving. It's breaking down of things that are no longer serving. But there's a lot of healing that's happening here. Hmm. And I'm feeling with the mercury energy here, this is talking about um, communication communication but it makes me feel like is this person still needing to open up um to be able to communicate with you opening up more i want to see why this distraction is here and we have patience which is also another message with temperance about us being patient maybe you are someone who's very patient with them you know, especially if they have, you know, issues with opening up their heart, their feelings. I feel like maybe in previous connections, this person has been aware of things that have created blockages for them in terms of their love life. But there's something I feel like different about your connection with them that is helping them to grow. Helping them even maybe to break down any karmic patterns of behavior, I feel like. Opening up, learning how to really communicate, get comfortable with communication, clear with communication. To me, this gives me this energy here of this person really stepping into their power with the magician in the mirror. Let's see, what is this distraction energy here? We have the moon. This makes me feel like certain fears, maybe even suppressed feelings and emotions. We've got Pisces energy. What is this distraction here? Two of swords in reverse. This makes me feel like this person has had to make some type of choice or decision. Their fears may have been holding them back from being clear on that. But looking at this lapis lazuli energy here, for some of you, this can even mean some type of a breakthrough in communication. Let's see, what is this distraction? Three of cups. Some of you there may could, could potentially be some outside influence. Uh, doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, a whole third party situation. Um, but there could be outside influence that is affecting your connection that this person may even currently be like their that where their energy is um i feel like primarily focused so some of you this person could feel a little bit distracted right now away from this connection but i don't feel like it's changing the way that this person feels towards this connection maybe they're also trying to work on ways in which they can resolve Maybe some of those outside distractions that may have been blocking them. Um, let's see what else. What is this distraction? And we have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, Ten of Swords energy. This can be a lot of overthinking, overanalyzing things, um, feeling very mentally um, drained. For some of you, there can be a lot of very deep wounds that this person is working towards healing. Things that they need to work on healing. Some of you, this, this person had a lot of maybe suppression of feelings, emotions. But yeah, like I said, I, I definitely feel like you're someone who brings in this a lot of this very healing type of energy to this connection with this person. And... I feel like this person definitely acknowledges that, you know, I feel like you, regardless of what this person's past is, 
that you are someone who they see as treating them fairly balanced. You bring in love, um, healing, you know, and, and like I said, serving as a catalyst to help them to be more comfortable with opening up, expressing their heart, their feelings. Okay. For some of you, it does look like there's a little bit of something that this person is, um, working through here. Okay. But overall, yes, this is how this person sees you in the connection. Okay. So I hope that this reading was helpful for you. Pile number one, and I'm going to leave it here and I will see you guys in the next reading. Hi, pal two. So those of you that resonated with the smoky citrine crystal, this is going to be a reading today. So we're finding out how do they see you and the connection. So we're going to look at your tarot first and then we'll put out your Oracle cards. So we have the eight of fire, which is the eight of wands. We have a feeling alone, which is the five of pentacles. We have seven of water, which is the seven of cups. We have release, which is the death card. We have the star. We have flow, which is the wheel of fortune. We have blossom, which is the judgment card. Okay. So let's see. We do have Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. Mm, what else here? Sagittarius. Lots of Scorpio energy for sure. Okay, so how do they see you and the connection? Well, starting off with this Five of Wands energy here, we I'm seeing feeling alone. Um, so some of you, maybe there could be, I don't know, this kind of looks like maybe for some of you distance. This woman is standing over here on this side holding this little lantern. And kind of looking across this little river or a little lake here. Almost like at this little other little light that's kind of in this house. And for some of you, this means that maybe this person could have been someone who, and who ghosted or even they feel a sense of abandonment. I mean, this could have been something that they've done to you, you've done to them. I'm also kind of getting that with the Seven of Cups energy here, this person is, I feel like, very much in their feelings and emotions with the Seven of Cups energy here. And I feel like looking at this flow energy here, how this guy is standing here, holding on to his heart, but he's standing in water and kind of putting his hand, feeling the water. So it makes me feel like this person, hmm, if there is separation between the two of you, it makes me feel like this person is, for some of you, working on healing here. That maybe even getting their feelings and their emotions to just kind of open up towards you, I feel like, because... This flow card or this wheel of fortune card makes me feel like this person does have some feelings here towards you and getting used to, I feel like, allowing themselves to feel their feelings. Looking at this death card here, this guy is kind of opening up his shirt and allowing all of this energy to come out and it all looks like it's coming from his heart chakra here, but the death card is about transformation. So it makes me feel like this person is working towards healing themselves right now because the star is also about healing. Um, hmm. And then the eight of wands energy for some of you, I feel like this person is wanting to communicate with you, message you. I'm noticing on the end of these wands here, we have 
these little wings that are here. So it makes me feel like this person, like even if you're in separation from this person right now, which I feel some of you are with this five of pentacles, uh, that there is still this energy this person feels with between the two of you, you know, regardless of what the circumstances in your connection are right now. Um, the eight of wands can literally be about messages, communication. Um, but this is also about energy that's in motion. Okay. So it could be that they still feel, and I'm looking at the world here, which makes me feel like some of you are separated, or maybe there is like a lot of distance between the two of you. For some of you, it could literally be physical distance. I feel like with the Seven of Cups energy here too, this person also has dreams about you. And I'm noticing that in this Seven of Cups card, there is a 444 in this little window here. So it makes me feel like there is this feeling that this person feels this connection to you. They have dreams that have a lot of like omens and symbols and signs and synchronicities in their dreams. And they're trying to, I feel like, figure them out. Um, trying to figure out what this means. Um, it makes me feel like this person is like, really, like I said, I, I'm definitely getting the feeling of this person working on themselves, healing themselves. Um, they could be feeling alone or missing you. I feel like it's kind of what I'm getting here. You know, feeling, maybe even recognizing, realizing that there are feelings and emotions. For some of you, I feel like, you know, even if you're not separated from this person, but the two of you, let's just say like you see each other a lot or you guys don't really talk to each other, then I feel like this person is thinking about you a lot. Okay, thinking about you a lot. Mm, definitely going through... I feel like a lot of confusing thoughts. They're trying to understand their feelings, their emotions. For some of you with the judgment card here, it could be that this person is needing to make some type of big decision. Um, and for some of you, that can mean renewal. Okay, renewal of your connection, your relationship here. The death card for some of you could have literally been that there has been an ending, you know, a breakup or separation or even someone being ghosted rejected here I feel like with the wheel of fortune because this can also be a very unpredictable type of energy maybe this person is really trying to pay close attention to what their feelings are uh with this let's see what else is here let's do these two we've got relationships and it says I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good we have worry I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. What is this person worried about? Maybe it's a worry over relationships, a worry of commitment. Because the seven of cups for some of you could mean that this person, you know, they could be somebody who dates other people. The seven of cups is a card of options and choices and hesitation when making a choice or decision. That's why I'm kind of feeling with this flow energy, how this guy has his hand on his heart and like feeling the water, right? Feeling the, <laughs> feeling the emotions. It's like doing like a, like an energy check on this self. Um, okay. So let's see what else. Let's do this one. We've got Citrine here. Unnecessary worries. Release the burden of worries by giving them to God for healing and solutions person feeling worried we have two cards of worrying here okay I mean look at the keywords choices over analyzing because the seven of cups is you know because it is a choice many options you know we're trying to figure out what is best for us and we may you know hesitate when we're being faced with different choices of course every choice that we make can have a different outcome so maybe this person is worried um, about maybe making the wrong choice, you know, for some of you that are separated and, the, and this person is thinking like, should I get back together with pile two or should I make a move? Well, we have unnecessary worry here. This makes me want to clarify this. We'll see what this is. Why is pile number two's person worried? Why are they worried? 
for some of you I'm getting, you could have sent this person some type of communication. And I feel like this person may even be questioning, like, should I respond? Okay, really depends on how your situation ended with them. But let's see, why is worry here? Why is Pal 2's person worried? Magician. This is about manifesting something, maybe between the two of you. Why is worry here? The Knight of Wands, which would be taking action. Let's see, what else? Why is worry here? Three of Cups. For some of you, this can mean reconciliation. Hmm. Yeah, some of you, I'm getting that this person could date other people. Um, some of you could even be connecting to another person. Um, the Knight of Wands energy can also be someone who, you know, maybe could even be maybe some fears of commitment. Because the Knight of Wands is more or less someone who is a little flighty. Hmm. Not necessarily about commitment. So this could even be worries or fears surrounding uh, commitment there. Okay, so I do want to see what else is here. We have attachment. So looking at this card here, this woman has her wrist that's tied to this, or chained actually to this pole. But she's also lifting this mask away. Mm. This gives me kind of like vibes of this person being stuck in some type of illusion, but kind of removing it, you know? I, I definitely feel like there's this transformation that is taking place within this person. So we have Blossom here, which the Judgment card can also be about um, renewal, transformation from learning from past. We have attachment. What else is here? Growth. Maybe for some of you, this person is seeing the connection um, as something that is helping them to grow, evolve out of past patterns of behaviors. Because for some of you, it could literally be that you were dating somebody who was commitment phobic or somebody who you know was not wanting to settle down but it almost makes me kind of feel like this person since meeting you like you're that person who makes them want to <laughs> consider settling down and a you known stop dating other people i feel like it's definitely something that has challenged them to really kind of grow you know beyond certain patterns of behavior that have kept them stuck in the past we have coming to life. That is really nice. Coming to life. We also have lead, which is Saturn energy. Lead, which makes sense because we have worries here. This lead energy with Saturn especially can be like a lot of mm, like burden, heaviness, that's weighing on this person unnecessarily, right? Worrying here. Mm, maybe it's getting rid of, releasing a lot of this, I feel like. Coming to life. We have abundance and also path. Abundance and path. Okay. Um, let me see what this attachment is here. Yeah, it makes me feel like this person sees that there's something different about this connection, about the feelings that they have for you. Um, maybe sitting within them, and maybe it is something that is, you know, maybe they're looking towards mm, some of you bringing new life into the connection, um, that they're wanting to put forth the energy, because I feel like they see the abundance that you bring into the relationship. Um, why is the attachment here? To me, also because she's got a mask here, this person could have been masking or hiding feelings and emotions, but looking, like I said, at that Wheel of Fortune, how this guy is like standing, like what, up to his thighs in water. 
I feel like this person really understanding, like, guess what? There are feelings there. <laughs> There's feelings there. Stop trying to hide them. Yeah. Okay. So why is the attachment here? Seven of Swords. Somebody, this person could have been someone who kind of runs away, anxious, avoidant, fearful. Hmm. Why is attachment? Yeah, King of Swords. This person, I feel like, is someone who definitely kind of is very guarded. It could block out a lot of their feelings and their emotions, but it's like now they're feeling them. Maybe feeling their feelings or even falling in love could be something that makes them feel afraid or that they worry unnecessarily about. What is this energy of coming to life? Nine of Cups. So they're feeling a sense of happiness and fulfillment. I feel like for some of you, it's kind of like this feeling of a wish coming true, like something that they've wanted, something they've asked for. And it's like, now it's here. You have the opportunity. Are you going to take it? We have the hermit and the empress. Yes. So we definitely see with the abundance here. They know, right? You are the, you are kind of like they're in a way they're, something that their heart is leading them towards you. The Empress is a very beautiful, very nurturing energy. So some of this person could even be like in love with you, you know, really depends on how, you know, how much or how long I would say you've known this person. Of course, if it's something completely new, you know, then it may not be at that level of love just yet. Um, but the Empress definitely brings in a beautiful, nurturing uh, energy of unconditional love the person can also be incredibly attracted to you. But with the hermit energy here, it's kind of like through introspection, through deep diving into the self, this person is really learning to come into their feelings and their emotions and be able to kind of, instead of hiding behind them, masking them, being able to kind of bring them out into the open. Because what, like I said, with the Saturn lead energy here, it makes it feel like all of this is a lot of heaviness or burden, or maybe even this person has been holding themselves back. But yeah, I, I definitely feel with the Empress, the abundance, the path, it's like this person says that you are the one that I feel that they feel a lot of these feelings and the emotions, even if they are somebody who dates other people, it's kind of like they are recognizing what you bring to the table, what you have to offer here and knowing that it is something that truly is making them happy and feel fulfilled. The hermit energy for somebody, this person could be withdrawn from you you know, at this time where they're taking a lot of time reflecting, introspecting into themselves. And maybe that in itself with them sitting with their feelings and their emotions, it's helping them to recognize, hey, I don't have to hide behind them anymore. You know, maybe it's helping them to open up to into their own feminine energy, their feelings and nurture uh, the connection, I feel like is what is happening here, right? No more needing to kind of stay so guarded and hide uh, behind them here. But yeah, this makes me feel like some type of a burden here with the lead. And maybe that is them holding back, masking here. Let's see, why is the energy of lead here? Three of pentacles in reverse. Some of you, this person, you could work with them, okay, with the three of pentacles. Um, we have the six of cups energy here. Some of you, you could have history past with this person. And for some of you, the burden could, that they're carrying could even be something from their past that has been making them feel afraid to reconnect or connect with somebody to build something uh, with them. Okay. Why is the lead here? Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay. Some of you may have been also very um, straightforward, direct with this person, letting them know what your feelings are, being honest with them and straight out. And it may have even scared this person a little bit, I feel like, because I'm noticing we have both king and queen of swords here, but they're both kind of one an upright, one in reverse, which is telling me there's some type of imbalance here. For some of you, this person could have um, been blocking off communication or not coming forward, feeling confused. I definitely feel like feeling stuck. Um, with regard to clear communication, okay, is definitely something that I'm seeing there. And I'm feeling, because I'm seeing the temperance card and the two of wands at the bottom, 
For some of you, there's a need for being patient. I feel like with this person in this connection, um, the person I feel like trying to make some type of decision around maybe a deeper level of commitment with you, but I'm definitely feeling this person is still healing things from uh, their past. Yeah, there's the burden right there, the 10 of wands, okay? So the hangman energy is like kind of stuck in a place of indecision. We're seeing four of swords, could be no contact, right? The person not really revealing things at this time, but I feel like their intuition is really leading them, guiding them towards you. Like you are the path to receiving, you know, unconditional love. And it's like, they don't have to hide behind these feelings, these emotions any longer, or even any patterns of behavior that they've had that were not conducive to really working towards building a solid foundation and relationship. Okay. So I'm going to leave this here for you. Pile number two. I do hope this was helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, Pile 3. So those of you that resonated with this little Jasper heart, this is going to be your reading today. So we're finding out how do they see you and the connections. We're going to look at your tarot first, and then we'll bring out your oracle. So we have the King of Air, which is the King of Swords. We have Seek, which is the Hermit. We have two of earth, which is the two of pentacles. We have observe a hangman. Ten of fire, which is the ten of wands. We have simply love. This is the six of cups. And then we have shine, which is the sun. So we do have Scorpio. We have Leo. Capricorn, Virgo, Pisces, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy here. So let's see what is going on. How do they see you and the connection? Okay. So just kind of looking at these two cards down here, we've got the Six of Cups and the Sun energy here. The Six of Cups is a very sweet energy. Now, some of you with the Six of Cups, because it is talking about the past, feelings of nostalgia, memories, those of you that do have a history with this person, then I would say that there's a lot of them thinking about the memories that the two of you guys have shared and that being something that does bring them a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, we're looking at this woman here, how there's this bright yellow light that's kind of coming right out of her, mm, kind of looks like her, almost like her heart, but I mean, you know, the, the sun card is more solar plexus. It is yellow. Um, but I feel like it is something that lights them up, you know, when they're thinking about the past, makes them feel, I feel like beautiful, very beautiful um, about the memories that the two of you guys share with each other. Um, now another thing that I'm noticing here, because you do have the two of pentacles energy here, the two of pentacles is about weighing our options and having to make choices, decisions, there can also be changes that have occurred, you know, of course, in your connection and with the observe energy here, which is the hangman, it's like where this person is kind of like taking a step back. It could be literally, you know, pulled back from the connection, a little withdrawn, um, but this is a time where we really look within the self. We take a pause. We take a moment to reflect and to get a little bit of a different perspective. And I am noticing that we have the Ten of Wands here, which can definitely make us feel very overwhelmed. Okay. Um, it could be that this person has been holding themselves back for some of you. Some of you, there could be like a currently like a no contact going on because we do have the hermit energy here. And the hermit is someone who's withdrawn, someone who's taking time in solitude, reflecting, thinking, um, maybe trying to gain some type of insight or awareness on what to do. I feel like moving forward with this connection, I am feeling, you know, that they see you in the connection as something that is very sweet. There's definitely a soul bond between you and this person. And it is something that does bring a lot of light, I feel like, definitely into this person's life here. But I am getting, you know, with their, their hermit energy here, where some of you can be making a choice or decision about whether or not 
uh, to come forward and speak to you, communicate with you, be honest, be open about their feelings. Um, for others of you, it could be that this person has been very guarded and not revealing any of their feelings. Maybe their feelings could be something that has been very uh, overwhelming here. I do want to see why this Ten of Wands is here. Um, let's see. I mean, we've got overworked, stressed, imbalanced. Let's see. Ten of Wands. I have the Ten of Wands here. Yeah, because the Two of Pentacles can also be literally when someone has like mixed feelings here. Okay, so something is making them feel overwhelmed. Maybe for some of you, like I said, it could be a choice of being single, being or staying single. Or, you know, maybe the Six of Cups can be a reconciliation or building something with you. Uh, why is the Ten of Wands here? We have the King of Swords again. <laughs> Um, why is the Ten of Swords? Maybe some of you are dealing with an air sign. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Four of Pentacles. Hmm. For some of you, I feel like this person is afraid. This could be of communi communicating with you, speaking, coming forward. It could be holding back a little bit. Holding back. Let's see. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Nine of Pentacles. That is being single. Single. Hmm. Yeah. Makes me feel like this person is trying to make some choice or decision. And maybe like if they like being free, independent, you know, or feeling like they need time alone. Changing from being single or even very career focused could be a thing too. Like, am I ready for love at this time? Do I really want a relationship? Let's see why this Two of Pentacles energy is here. Nine of Cups. It's like they're trying to think about what is going to bring them the most happiness or fulfillment. We have the Star and we have the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this person sees you as someone that they can see themselves being with. I feel like they know that you may be looking for something that is solid, you know, commitment here. I feel like they see that there is a beautiful connection between the two of you. And I feel like a lot of it centers around going from being single to in a relationship. Hmm. But there's, this person definitely sees that there is a soul connection between the two of you. It could be very sweet. Some of you it could be very... Um, not having really moved into talking about or expressing feelings even, but they just feel that there's something special between the two of you. Um, what else can we clarify here? Let's clarify the Six of Cups. We've also got Aquarius energy here. Pisces. And Earth energy here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Why is the Six of Cups here? We've got the Page of Swords in Reverse. Yeah, some of you I'm feeling there's blocks surrounding communicating about their feelings towards you. Okay? I'm feeling that there are feelings there <laughs> with the Queen of Cups energy here. But the Page of Swords in reverse, I feel like this person may not necessarily be speaking on them, communicating them to you. I feel like this there's some kind of holding this holding back from expressing uh feelings here. So I'm gonna move this out of the way a little bit. We're going to put these other oracle cards out. So let's see. Let's actually move these down. All right. So let's see. We have upheaval. Why upheaval? Guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Mm, maybe for some of you, if there has been some type of upheaval in your connection, meaning separation, a break in contact, this person could be feeling guilty about it. Okay. We have pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Guilt and pride. Hmm. We have watermelon, tourmaline, and it says stress reduction. De-stress your mind, body, and schedule as you need to rest, recharge, and revive. So maybe for some of you, if they've created some type of upheaval in your connection with them, 
This could be something that they feel guilty about, but maybe even haven't told you the reasons why. But maybe they feel like they're under a lot of stress, especially with the Ten of Wands being there. They feel like they just need time to themselves to think about what they want. Maybe even letting pride get in the way of telling you maybe they were... I mean, because this could even be things that are going on in this person's personal life that have nothing to do with you. But maybe too much pride or ego to really tell you or explain to you like, hey, I'm feeling really stressed out right now. Let's see what else. We have woman holding a coin. Again, look at that. The queen of pentacles. So yes, it makes me feel like this person sees you as someone they can see themselves being with, building or having a relationship with. Let's see what else. We have unexpected visitors. So maybe for some of you, this person, I don't know, you could have come to see them. They could have come to see you. They could be planning something, maybe an unexpected visit. Or even having something happen in their life. Maybe even someone returning into their life. I mean, this doesn't have to be a romantic partner. It can be like parents. It could be friends. It could be family situations this person is going through. Let's see what else. Okay, so we have sap of the moon plant. We have potential and then we have the moon. Okay, so this person seems that there is potential in your connection. But with the moon energy here, it's like trying to work through, I feel like, a lot of those fears insecurities, uncertainty. I want to see why this person is feeling guilty. You might already know why they're feeling guilty, but I want to know why they're feeling guilty. Why is this person feeling guilt? Ten of Swords. Maybe this is for ending it. For some of you ending the connection, why are they feeling guilt? Five of Pentacles. That is abandonment. So if this person has kind of like shut you out, they're feeling guilty about it. Feeling guilty. Hmm. What else? And I feel like looking at the sap of the moon plant, this, is, this card is talking about the unconscious mind and about needing to kind of really explore the depth of the unconscious and to really kind of Take some time to reflect, think. This is feminine energy here. So again, going into intuition, the moon. Like needing to kind of reflect within the self about their feelings, their emotions. Let's see the energy around woman holding a coin. The four of wands, that's a relationship. So for some of you, is this person like considering, I feel like, commitment here? Why is the woman holding a coin here? Two of Cups. That is a relationship. <laughs> if it ever was. Two of Cups, Four of Wands, woman holding a coin. That is commitment. So they see you as somebody that they could be in a relationship with, committed to. Um, I'm seeing underneath the deck we have the Emperor. And the Emperor is about, uh, you know, um, grounded energy, stable, uh, creating a strategy, a plan planning moves okay so those of you where this person has ghosted you or cut off contact know that this person is feeling guilty about this okay maybe they are too prideful to talk or communicate and talk about memories of you or the connection that the two of you guys have had i am feeling for some of you there is this energy surrounding being afraid to go from single to in a relationship um, uh, what else do we want to clarify here? Okay. So yeah, we're obviously seeing potential here where this person sees the potential, right? Four of wands, two of cups, the two of you being in a relationship. Uh, let's see what is in this hermit energy here. Two of pentacles. Again, that whole back and forth. Why? Why is the two of pentacles here? Five of Wands are feeling some type of conflict. Six of Swords. Part of them says we sh I should move forward or move on away from this connection. And I feel like the other part of them says, you know, that there's potential that's here. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? The Magician. 
that would come from manifesting something with you. But again, we've got Ten of Wands at the bottom, feeling overwhelmed. Maybe this is indecision here. Should I or shouldn't I? I see that there's potential between Pile 3 and I. Maybe they just really need this time in that Hermit energy to really think about things, right? Especially if they're feeling a lot of stress right now and not being able to make clear decisions from that because it says de-stress your mind, body, and schedule as you need rest, recharge, and revive. You know? Mm. So, yeah. That's kind of what I'm getting here for you, pile number three. Okay, so I'm going to leave this reading here for you. I do hope this was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading.